24 teams playing. Uh, just today we have uh, 30 games and uh, 14 nations here in Berlin. And uh, we talked to a lot of the players in the, in the time around the pool and everybody is so excited and happy to be here and it's uh, really the family feeling and the community feeling is a big part um, of, uh, uh, of this whole Champions Cup. Um, it's the connection, it's the uh, exchanging numbers uh, and uh, know each other, seeing the faces of people you only know from Facebook. It's uh, great and uh, good atmosphere and everything is just um, how do you call it? Uh, ev everybody's, even the, the one who just lost the game, uh, are happy to be here and to, to breathe on the water rugby air with each other. So uh, it's a great event and uh, we're happy here uh, and to see all the work we put in uh, to come to, to this, to see happy faces of uh, uh, so many people from around the world playing on the water rugby here and uh, yeah. Pretty stars, yeah. <laughs> there are some things you cannot stop to repeat. <laughs> and uh, Look, we have still three more years to say we're world champions, right? So we need to take advantage of that. <laughs> we have been repeat. <laughs> All right, everybody. Next uh, game coming up. Um, uh, next game coming uh, up, well which do we, we have? have? Molde against Newark. Molde against Newark, I think uh, uh, that will be a, a quite uh, easy to predict and uh, this will be a, a lesson for uh, a new work. A um, lesson for new work? Already? Yeah, yeah I think so, but, but, but uh, don't that's not ironic because no. uh, playing against these top elite teams like Molde is uh, always an experience. I played once against Bamberg, and uh, it's uh, w my team didn't have a chance, but it was still uh, great, it was to, great it, yeah. uh, to to see on the water rugby at this level played against um, with no almost no physical contact. It yeah. is so uh, um, the the game is so fast and uh, concentrated on the ball without uh, this physical punching and. Uh, getting uh, into each other so um, yes we uh, looking forward to the next game but I think it's already decided um, where's the promised uh, HD where we the problem is uh, we have HD here in the hall but uh, the internet connection couldn't stand it so um, we have I think the the pictures are better than last year but it's not uh, um yeah the optimal yeah it's not what what uh, we wanted but uh, you had to order the internet connection month uh, ahead and what we got wasn't what we ordered so that's that's the problem we have yeah. so um to 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 see the future of the champions cup well i think it's probably not a, a discussion we we can have here um, I think uh, underwater rugby is going global and is uh, growing and the Champions Cup has adapted to that too and we would, uh, we and everybody in the community and uh, Winnie really likes to keep it open. He made a survey to all the team uh, leaders uh, before the Champions Cup, uh, how do they uh, think and what they want from the Champions Cup in the future. I mean, in the past it was just Saturday and Sunday, then eventually we had to extend it to Friday because of the many teams participated and I believe no one wants to um, put a maximum amount of teams because that would be really um, yeah, against uh, the development of the Cup. So, I don't know, if we have more and more teams coming... Uh, there, there's, there's so many there are many ideas and the, the interesting thing is uh, about with all this discussion about the Champions Cup uh, we uh, been, uh, um, mailed all these uh, team leaders and the feedback was not very big we got feedback from the Orcas uh, and uh, Barcelona and Barcelona and um, but uh, yeah there has to be uh, uh, plans for the future and I agree with Christian here um, the, the Champions Cup has a special soul 
um, which uh, um, comes from its history and the work when it put into the Champions Cup. It is a uh, it is a family uh, uh, project and uh, was never um, um, one to to gain money from all the time and the work when it put into the Champions Cup. Um, is uh, is something that uh, contributed to its soul, and that's yeah. what the I mean what the players love about it. It's affordable, and it's uh, uh, it's it from the players to the players, and for the players. So it's just everyone working here, helping here, being here. It's uh, does it. Uh, and I totally agree with you, uh, uh, Levent Kavas. Uh, 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 we can improve. Uh, there are a lot of things we can improve, um, but it's. Uh, uh, what always uh, astonishing me is uh, when when you put a lot of hard work into a project like the Champions Cup and, and suddenly it succeeds. Like Vinny said, uh, 16 years ago he had three, four teams. Nobody was taken care of uh, or even recognized it. And now it's, it's recognized. And uh, through the work of manpower. Yeah, and he put uh, all, the all the technical stuff, everything he did by himself. And uh, now that it's growing because of the family and the special soul, everybody's interested in the Champions Cup. And uh, yeah, I think we have to uh, improve. We have to go global and adapt. And uh, But I guess that the recognition that the community gives to the Champions Cup is far more important than any official recognition. I mean, sadly... Um, yeah, yeah the still we are not... Uh okay, there is uh, development going on, but we will talk uh, about that uh, yeah. on an another point. So here we are in the game, uh, Molde against New York, Norway against USA. So, um, Molde has the ball, no surprises on that, already on the basket of USA. And uh, let's see, I mean, USA have been having a very nice uh, games yesterday. Am I surprised also? from the quality they brought in the water so let's see how they can put up um, against Molde and um, this also is a quite a new team and uh, when you are uh, such a new team and you have been playing in the Champions Cup I mean New York is the first time I believe here in the Champions Cup uh, and they have a different way of playing. I mean, you have to adapt to the speed, to the strength, uh, to the reaction, to the tactic uh, of a uh, steady um, team as small days. And they are doing a great job. I mean, still one minute into the game, they're defending with everything they can. They're trying to swim and they got the ball and uh, trying to swim a counter attack but they're being stopped by the players of Molde in the middle and but the, the, um, they keep the possession of the ball and even though and right now we have just one player and well two others just uh, drive in to try to continue the counter attack they cannot pass the middle line uh, Molde is doing it really um, hard and uh, now they just recovered okay that was almost a fell pass but uh, Molde is coming in a contract with three and uh, are pushing against the, the goalie, but they s haven't succeeded. And uh, New York is really doing a good job defending, being in position, and trying to do four checking. But I believe at this kind of pressure, uh, eventually they will break because um, Molde just is too strong physically. Uh, you have more. Uh, yeah, the larger and stronger players, and then that against uh, a smaller goalie uh, that it's difficult to to hold. Um, if a 120 kilos man fights against a 60 kilo or 80 kilos, they have uh, actually uh, an advantage. But I think what is uh, <laughs> but I think what is decisive uh, in a game against Molde how you stand the first uh, seconds if you just overrun and they score within the first. Uh, 10 seconds or um, if you put something in the water that at least uh, yeah three uh, minutes yeah that's that's, 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 okay. that's something so um, we see New York now in the half of uh, Molde um, but uh, not enough players down to establish uh, any kind of attack pattern now Molde is counter-attacking getting in two against two 
against the goal and we see the, oh, the typical attack. Goal. One player is going in and uh, just probes the, the uh, defense going in with force and then throws the ball uh, to the second player coming in or is on one of the sides and uh, this, this one then scores. Super effective, very well uh, uh, trained and no surprise here, 2-0 uh, Molde against Newark. So the third attack now, um, the Molde player is coming from the open side uh, but was alone so he uh, just waited for his teammates to go in. We see a block from the open side and the player uh, pushed a little bit on the goalkeeper. The second one uh, got the ball, third wave and um, then he scored. So it's 3-0 um, after less than uh, five minutes uh, of the beginning of this first half, USA against Norway. So um, Newark uh, reached the basket of Molde and they try really physically hard to punch through the defense of Molde from the closed side. And uh, now they try it from the open side, swim around, breaking open up uh, the defense, uh, forcing them to move around the basket to open up a gap. But uh, um, it, it's well, well, a really good work from Newmark now to withstand uh, the forward checking of Molde. They are in uh, good ball control, um, even though they have to fight hard, but they're doing a good job here, keeping the ball uh, um, uh, passing back and forth and uh, forcing uh, Molde to to run after them. Um, so. A uh, good job for Newark here. Uh, five mi four minutes, a little bit more than four minutes left in this uh, first half. Molde against uh, Newark, and then we have counter attack from Molde, which uh, normally succeeds in a score of Molde. Uh, first one uh, took the counter attack, stopped in front of the basket, and now they have uh, three Molde players at the basket. One on the open side. He receives the ball from the player from the close side and push the goalkeeper in, uh, the, goal, the ball uh, under the goalkeeper in the basket. And again, uh, Newark tried to reach the Molde basket, but uh, Molde succeeded in a counter-attack, one Molde player going in on the basket, uh, trying to fight on the, on the head of the goalkeeper, but uh, he lost the ball and uh, uh, it was uh, stolen away by Newark. And now we have uh, Molde recovering the ball, fighting one-on-one -on, -one, uh, on the close side of the basket. But uh, uh, again, uh, Newark uh, uh, succeeded in stealing the ball away and uh, they're doing quite good job in uh, forechecking and keeping the ball flow um, to keep this game for them going because they know if they stop um, Molde, if they don't stop Molde before their basket, uh, they have no chance of, uh, of uh, stopping them scoring. Call from the referee. And it's a free throw for Molde, and we have one Molde player uh, stealing away the basket, and uh, the Newark US player tried to push him away. There's a lot of pushing now without ball on the basket of uh, Newark. Um, interesting, there wasn't a call from the referees, but the uh, ball is still in uh, uh, Molde possession and uh, one player was above the basket, didn't succeed in uh, pushing it in and the second uh, Molde player came and finished the job. That's, that's something, even if uh, one attack wasn't successful, there is always a second, third, fourth attack, so uh, you can be sure Molde um, will succeed in scoring. 
Okay, um, it's 5-0 uh, for Newark in this first half and we have a uh, little bit more than two minutes, uh, with one minute left. And uh, Molde is again on attack mode and uh, doing their uh, blind passing to each other and uh, with blind I mean uh, trustfully passing. But still uh, Newark uh, from time to time succeeds um, in the Stealing the ball away in here, a uh, Newark player was uh, gripped around the throat by a Molde player, so it's a free throw um, against Molde. Another chance for Newark uh, to spend some time in the half of uh, uh, the Norwegian basket. And uh, again, uh, Newark tries to play fast, but that was a uh, pass in nowhere and the ball was recovered by Molde, one Molde player one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper from Newmark. Um, he was uh, pushed up by two defenders and uh, there's now a little bit of uh, ball hassling around the basket of Newark and uh, uh, Molde lost the ball to Newark but now the Newark player is attacked by two Molde players who try to rip the ball free and uh, ball is in Molde possession. Now they come from the close side. And again, uh, they're closing in on the basket. But here uh, Newark is doing a good job interrupting uh, at least the, the, uh, the, the closer vicinity of uh, uh, the basket. There's a call from... Uh, ah, no, it's not a call. End of the first half. So end of the first half here, Molde against Newark. And it's, uh, is it 5-0? I think it uh, was a little bit more. thought so. Um, so, no surprise in this game. Um, I'm quite sure uh, even Newark uh, um, expected uh, um, something like that in the first half. But they're doing a good job, um, at least breaking free. It's not that they are overrun uh, non-stop by... Um, the Molde players, but it's more like uh, uh, they do their best and uh, for sure there is way to improve, but Molde right here is the better team, the more experienced team uh, in the water and a 5-0 in the first half is nothing to be ashamed of, um, but I'm sure it's exhausting for you, Mark, uh, what they do in here. Um, but as a beginners in the Champions Cup and playing internationally on this high level, um, uh, every team will get something out of uh, participating and uh, this experience will make them stronger. And uh, we talked to Ricardo too from uh, uh, Australia and he said uh, this will uh, bring Australian team, uh, the Wales team, uh, up quite high uh, in the in the confidence of playing international tournaments. Uh, so this is not only for the elite players, but also for teams who need the experience on an international level um, to to compete on this level too. So like I said, it's family right here, and um, most of the teams know each other and uh, see each other every year and uh, if you see uh, teams coming in for the first time in the pool area and other teams greeting them, uh, single players running to each other and uh, uh, hug each other so it's uh, really like uh, right now Berlin and the Champions Cup is the hub uh, of underwater rugby and uh, this yeah. is the soul probably Christian was talking about uh, earlier on it is special and it's uh, not about money, it's not about, uh, even maybe not about the winning, sure it is, you want to win, but being part of this uh, atmosphere right here um, makes you uh, feel and see what is so special about our sport, which uh, we love we to play. We are hosting um, people from Australia, uh, from Barcelona, uh, from Germany at home, and yesterday we were discussing the matches. Uh, I was on one one thirty after we arrived, and you know everyone giving their insight and with how the matches feel felt, and I th you know. We're talking um, a lot right now about underwater rugby with a global 
community and it's not on Facebook, it's not in the chat. Here we are back again. Um, uh, Molde is attacking Newark who play now on the left side and uh, Newark uh, from America in uh, blue and Molde in white and again uh, Newark succeeded in uh, uh, stealing the ball and breaking free but they are stopped in their own half by Molde who recovered the ball and are now back in attacking mode going over from the close side over to the from the open side over to the close side but uh, I don't see where the ball is the ball was recovered by a, a Newark player and uh, we are now uh, have a cluster in the corner on the surface and uh, I mean uh, Newark is doing really a great job yes. because uh, of course as you said before Molde is the, the more experienced uh, the better team in that matter but they are really def defending fiercely, and they are um, bringing a very put up putting up a very good game, and and also uh, if you think that they are an, a new team, um, still uh, being able to uh, react this fast to attack that they are not uh, used to because they that's the first time they play against Molde, and you know in the U.S. they have more the Colombian way of playing because I have a lot of Colombian in the team as well. And uh, that's also another, I mean, we, 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 sh we shouldn't forget about it. I mean, the Colombians play very different and when they come here, you know, they're more physical, they, they swim much more and they're not really used to this physical, physical strength, playing. fighting uh, on the ball that costs them a lot of energy and then they're not used to that. And they're reacting really good and they're putting up with this tactic of, of, of Molde and also the players, I mean, they're almost twice the size of some of the players of the, the US, so, I mean, great job, I mean, wh what we're seeing here from the US. So, yes, um, um, and uh, I think Molde appreciates a good fight, but um, this yeah. is not really a challenge for them. Um, well they are leading now 6-0. Yes. Yeah, and uh, they 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 play their game, and uh, we we see a lot. Uh, Molly, we see them a lot um, um, waiting uh, when they are attacked on the basket, waiting for a chance to counterattack, then go in uh, really fast with three players and uh, score. We saw that a lot here um, in this game. And also very nice how, you know, uh, the new work team, you know, swim in and then swim out and try to keep him in, in, in position of the of the ball and try to be, they're quite dy dynamic, I mean, in the way they, they move. I mean, right now, okay, he, he's quite quiet in the corner, but they move a lot. Um, and this is, I think, the only way you can put up a fight against a, a team like Molde because um, otherwise, uh, if, if you don't, you don't, sh you know, keep swimming and trying to keep the ball moving by swimming with the ball, then um, they wouldn't be in possession of, of the ball at all. So, right now, I have call of the referee, and it's a free throw against uh, Newark. That would and be, we have it should three be another goal. The team. Yeah, they're trying on the open side fighting from above, going above the goalie, down to the other mate, and um, it's just the goalkeeper alone against four white t-shirts. <laughs> but it's not this easy for uh, Molde. They didn't, no, uh, no. they didn't do I'm it in the first wave. No, no, that they didn't do it in the first, they did in the second. But <laughs> 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 yes, uh, but still, I mean, they are fighting a lot in the middle. They're fighting a lot three meters away from the goal. I mean, it's not just a, you know, uh, counter and goal. Like we saw earlier uh, with Vienna and uh, what's the team they were playing? Um, we have a timeout. Uh, don't know who took it. And the maybe even Molde. Yeah. We see one Molde player is being uh, uh, taping his uh, fingers. Um, well, that's that's uh, always the, the big danger in the, in a fast uh, game. Uh, you have to protect your fingers. Um, 
I heard a lot about players, uh, never happened to me, but punching the ball in uh, uh, the basket and one finger got stuck on the ring of the rim of the basket uh, or even in a close fight in the cluster, someone is crapping your finger, not uh, purposefully, but um, by accident. And this can really hurt, so you tape your fingers. Timeout is counting down, eight seconds here. In I, I really like it. You can, you know, see the names and the t-shirts and the yeah. numbers. I mean, yeah. that's, a, that's a great thing. So, um, second half, new work. Underwater rugby from the USA against Molde from Norway. 7-0 uh, for Molde. A little bit more than five minutes left and 7-0 for Molde. And uh, here Molde tried to uh, break free and was attacked. Well one player was attacked by an uh, American player. Uh, stopped but not really uh, effectively. He could still swim through and uh, um, almost go to the corner close side. And another attack on the uh, Newmark uh, basket. Um, back and forth uh, passing off the ball. Always a uh, Molde player is ready to receive uh, a pass to score. And uh, Newark reacts by tackling away the ball um, to the surface. We have a cluster on the surface now on the in the corner. And uh, this is Newark in ball possession, losing the ball already to... Uh That's a killer. But look, the goalie really um, is holding. Um, I'm surprised that I didn't achieve the score on the first wave. And the defender really recovered the ball and tried to, fi to um, swim a counter-attack. And it's over the half of the uh, play area. It was called from a referee, uh, grip to the uh, throat. Um we have a free throw, free throw against Molde. And it's 7-3 in the second half and a little bit more than three minutes left in this... In this... Uh 154 people in the chat on live watching. 7-0 for Molde. And three minutes to go from the second half of this match. And another call from the referee. It's a free throw um, against Newark. Uh, the goalie of uh, the American goalie is already on the goal, but uh, there is also a Moldy player taking over the uh, defensive position for the Americans. Um, I think that we will soon see the 8 um, 0. Here we go. 8-0. Let's see if they can keep it on the I mean one digit and then they'll go on to ten. They they really they, they are fighting and delivering a, a great match, you know, given the conditions of a uh, two yep. or three years yep, new definitely. team and a uh, established world champion <laughs> uh Molde. Normally in the past of the champion that you would have in, in with such a deal, I mean you can see how the rag rugby has been improved and in countries that are new to it because in the past it would be already 20 zero or something like yeah, this. Yeah, it would yeah, have yeah, been absolutely. like a, a goal every 30 seconds. And this uh, for mm. being you Mark, uh, um, bec maybe they have experienced players uh, like they told me yesterday they are split up from the Hammerheads. Um, but if they have experienced players, even though it's, it's their first big Still, you can compare international because tournament. They uh, don't have such a big league where they can exactly. play so much and and uh, improve the way we do it here in in Europe. Yeah. They um and nine zero um, for Molde. One minute uh, thirty left in the second half. Uh, I don't think we will see any surprises here. Um, but your work is not giving up, not at all. Um, they they want to show um, they have something here in the water which uh, um, at least stops the Molde machine from uh, time. Oh, time that, to that time. was a foul pass from a Molde player to his uh, playmate that was um, um, taken away by the defender. 
that is trying to swim away, but it's not really succeeding on that. The more they recover the ball is attacking the second wave, uh, attacking directly into the goalie. You have uh, two Molder players on the open side, and a defender and the goalie trying to stop it. And uh, now we are swimming away uh, to the counter attack to the Molder side. You have three newer players arriving, three Molder players arriving as well. Uh, so no surprises in a counter-attack and um, Molde recovers the ball now is one of the new world players with the goal directly and the uh, yeah they're fighting and keep hiding with the goalie the goalie recovers the ball but Molde successfully that way you can see the experience the, that that basket is never empty even if the one goalie is fighting That's with true. the ball and the partner already comes and, and covers it and what is not happening in uh, New York, for instance. I mean, those are the the, the those are the, 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 the um, uh, what makes you know uh, a, a team a, a winner or uh, uh. A, a loser in, in uh, to covering those kind of situations like that. But it was a nice attack it was for for the end. It uh, was a of great attack from New York. They can be quite proud. Uh, Definitely. Oh, uh, how much? How many was it? Six, seven, zero. Uh, I think so. At least seven or eight, eight zero. Eight zero, eight zero. Correct. I have to. So no surprise here. Uh, well, yeah, there was a surprise. New work uh, did pretty well. Um, and it's uh, we all agree. Uh, Mole is one of the uh, top players here. Imagine. New work did better than Malmo. Malmo lost 10 0 against Molde yesterday, and um, New work just 8 0. Me with the statistics. Well done. And Malmo uh, knows Molde. I mean, I just think uh, they're interesting facts. Right. So, yes.